10 Unbelievable Animal Adaptions to Survive in the Wildlife. Number 1. Horned Lizard The horned lizard is also known as the horned toad or horned frog because of its physical appearance that is somewhat close to a frog. But they are actually a lizard. This lizard uses three several extraordinary techniques to protect itself from predators. Their coloration serves as camouflage that perfectly blends with their surroundings to make it harder for predators to distinguish them. And if camouflaging doesn't work as the predator attacks, they will try to play dead to confuse the predator and leave them alone. And if this still doesn't work, they will perform their secret technique, which no other animal can do, and that is to shoot a blood from their eye. As the predator charges, they will squirt their own blood from their eyes directly into the predator's eyes. This blood has no venom, but has a foul smell that contribute to scaring predators away. Number two, Sidewinder. Sidewinders are carnivorous animals. They usually feed on rodents like lizards and sometimes kangaroo rats, small birds, and even snakes. But in captivity, they do fine on a steady diet of mice. But how does this snake hunt for its prey? The sidewinder is an ambush predator and it is quite hard for them to chase their prey. So what they do is hide their body under the sand. They shuffle their bodies into a soft sand with their heads barely exposed. Then the distinctive black and white banding around the base of their tails serve as a lure, twitching the tail back and forth. A slow movement of the tail may simulate a worm or a caterpillar, attracting its prey like lizards, thinking that it's actually food, but they're wrong. And the lizard comes within range. The snake will quickly strike and immobilize the lizard with its venom and feed on it later. Number three, kangaroo rat. Despite the name kangaroo rat, this animal is not actually a rat. They are a member of the Heteromyidae family, which is the closest relative of pocket gophers. Kangaroo rats detect any predators around very well. Thanks to their very good sense of hearing, they can react almost instantly to the attacking predators who would try to feed on them. With their very long tail and their massive hind legs, they can quickly jump and escape from predators before getting caught. You can easily distinguish the kangaroo rat with its long tail and larger hind feet with only four toes. This animal usually feeds on dry seeds. They can extract liquids from the seeds that they eat. Their kidneys are capable of concentrating their urine. This significantly reduces the water lost out of their body. Number four, alligator. The alligator is a cold-blooded animal that has an unusual method of survival in very cold weather, up to a point of freezing temperatures where they can actually get frozen in the water. But don't worry, these alligators learn how to adapt to these situations, which is called brumation. Brumation is a similar term to hibernation. It is a semi-shutdown response seen in a cold-blooded animal like alligators that allows them to slow down their metabolism and go without food. The alligator's brumation can last them four to five months and can be triggered by temperatures below 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Before the water freezes, the alligator will stick their nose up and out on the surface of the water to keep their nostrils above before the ice freezes, allowing them to breathe oxygen. When the ice melts, the alligators simply go back to their normal routine as if nothing major happened. Number five, cuttlefish. The cuttlefish is an unbelievable animal in the sea. They have an amazing adaption for camouflaging, not just an ordinary camouflage like other animals do. Their camouflaging ability is on the next level. They can almost instantly change their colors based on what they feel or what their current surrounding looks like. They use this method in many different situations. First is to blend into their surroundings to hide from any predators around. Second is for communicating with other cuttlefish. And third is to threaten other animals to make them think that they are poisonous. 
They show this poisonous looking color that may trick predators to leave them alone. But how do they actually do this color changing ability? On the surface of their skin, they have millions of this skin cell called chromatophores. They act as biological color on their skin, just like pixels on the display of your computers or cell phones. These chromatophores are then controlled from the brain to their muscles. Each muscle contracts displaying different colors, and when the muscles relax, the original color of their skin is revealed. Number 6. Shovel Snouted Lizard some species of lizards have adapted very well to life living in a very hot desert. The shovel-snouted lizard is one of them. This lizard is famous as a dancing lizard, not because they love dancing. Instead, they raise their feet simultaneously to avoid overheating in this very hot desert that has a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius of heat. Imagine how an animal can live at this kind of temperature. The lizard goes out to find food, using their very powerful feet. They can run up to three feet per second, incredibly fast for their size. They use this speed to hunt insects and other prey, which also provides them with all the water that their body needs. And when they can barely handle the heat, by the use of their flat nose, allows them to swim easily and deeply into the sand at about one and a half feet for up to 24 hours where they can escape the very hot temperature surface of the sand, as well as their predators. Number 7. Wood Frog The wood frog is an unbelievable species of frog, because they are one of the few species of frog that can adapt and survive in very cold weather, that can even freeze them into the ice. But luckily, they have this special capability that's called antifreeze. As the winter comes and everything starts to get frozen, wood frogs prepare themselves. They bury themselves under the leaves, and as the wood frog starts to freeze from the very skin right before their internal organs, their liver starts converting the sugar stored from glycogen into glucose. This sugar is released from their liver and is carried through the bloodstream to every tissue where it helps keep cells from completely dehydrating and shrinking. As the wood frog is freezing from the skin into its internal organs, from the very last seconds, the heart continues pumping the protective glucose around its body, and eventually, the heartbeat slows down, then stops, and they're frozen all together with their other internal organs. Everything is done well right before the frog is totally frozen. The frog can survive in its freezing state for a few months, until the summer comes where the ice starts to melt and where the frog starts to thaw from being frozen. The heart starts to beat again, and internal organs start to work, and all the damaged tissues will start to regenerate. Number eight, Ibex. The Ibex is a herbivore animal, and their diets consist of vegetables such as shrubs, bushes, and grasses. But because this food is lacking salt, especially calcium salts, they discovered and learned that they can find these salt minerals in the dam walls. It is known that Ibex can travel more than 15 miles just to lick natural salt deposits on the dam walls, despite the danger it can cause to them. But the Ibex has a strong and remarkable foot, and they were born and live at the top of mountain cliffs walking back and forth on the edge of the mountain, making their feet stronger as they grow up. The dam walls that are slightly curved are somehow comparable to a mountain wall, but how do they manage to climb, walk, or even run on these walls easily? Some people say that this animal has the capability to defy gravity, but the secret is the structure of their feet. The hooves of their feet are split into two sections, allowing them to spread their halves to grip larger rock surfaces. The bottoms of their hooves have rubbery pads, like shoe soles. The pads provided the goats with even more traction. They also have two stubby dew claws on the back of their legs that they can use for gripping and slowing if they slide down the slope. Not only do the hooves provide mountain goats with fantastic climbing abilities, but their keen eyesight can spot the best climbing routes and also see movement up to a mile away. Number 9. Lungfish 
The lungfish is a prehistoric animal that lives 400 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs. They are referred to as living fossils. They have some fascinating adaptions. Because this fish has two lungs for better survival in their habitat, this lungfish has the capability to survive during times when there is no surface water, a capability that most other fish can't do. As the dry season draws near and their water turns into mud, while other fishes suffer from death because of lack of the water, well, the lungfish has the capability to survive for up to five years in this drought season. They burrow themselves into the mud, about 25 centimeters below the surface, and secrete a slimy mucus that solidifies to form a cocoon-like shelter that from this state, they won't eat or drink and undergo into very low energy state called hibernation to conserve energy to survive in this harsh weather for up to five years or until the next rainy season. Once the rainy season comes, as the water pours into the dry land, only then will the lungfish awake from its hibernation state. And that's how a lungfish survives. Number 10, armadillo. The name armadillo comes from the Spanish word that means little armored one and refers to the presence of bony armor-like plates covering their entire body from head to the back and down to their legs and tails. There are approximately 20 species of armadillo in the world, and the species named three-banded armadillo is the only species that are capable of rolling up into a ball and encasing itself inside of the shell as a method of self-defense to hide their flesh from predators. The shell of this armadillo consists of a combination of bone and a tough tissue coating. Its shell, called a carpache, which means turtle shell, Many predators would try to feed on armadillo, but unfortunately, they fail. And even big cats find it hard to bite and penetrate this armor. It is known that the armadillo is related to the extinct animal species, the glypodont. These prehistoric animals are large animals comparable to the size of a car, just like a Volkswagen Beetle specifically. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beetle! And that's it for the 10 unbelievable animal adaptions to survive in the wild. So which of these animals do you like most and why? Comment it down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching.